What's going on guys? My name is Jack. Welcome back to another video. It is lunchtime at my office right now. This is my pasta. I got some croutons in there as well and there's even some dried onions. Anyways, you don't care about that. Uh, oh, I nearly burnt. <laughs> We're pretty much just going to be doing the zoom and eye effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Essentially, the effect is probably going to be on screen right now for you guys to see. Very self-explanatory. Uh, it's called the zoom and eye effect and you know, guess what happens? It zooms into the eye. I've also got a clip of me that I'm going to be working through that you guys can literally download in the description um, accompanied by a couple sound effects as well so you could work through literally the exact same video I'm going to be working through and overall that's kind of just like a hands-on learning experience that I think is pretty cool that I've been trying to incorporate into my videos where essentially you guys edit the exact same thing that I edited it uh, edit rather hopefully the, uh, the the goal from that sort of strategy is that you guys just retain more of the information because by the end of the tutorial, we both have the same final product. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, what's up guys? So we are in Premiere Pro right now and this is the effect that I am talking about. In fact, I might even bring it over here, just stretch it out a little bit right here just so we can, oh, probably gonna wanna stretch that out as well. <laughs> just so we can have a little bit of time before this effect actually kicks in. It is a, uh, let me just go ahead and pre-render that beginning bit as well. It's basically just a recording of my face and then it zooms, super zooms in with the sound effect to reveal this music video scene underneath, uh, essentially in my eye and I'll just kind of scroll through. It goes boom, a mask appears in my eyeball. It then zooms in on that eyeball and uh, actually works its way into the eyeball just like that. So it is actually, pretty easy effect to pull off despite it looking pretty dope. I made this very quickly as an example before, uh, so it's not the most perfect example in the world, but um, as is custom on my channel to help you guys learn better just to overall walk through and uh, you know make you guys actually retain this effect and know how to do it by the end, what I do as kind of like a hands-on learning experience is you guys can download the same stuff uh, that I'm going to be working through, e.g. this picture right here with these sound effects, and uh, we can create the exact same sequence, uh, you know, together, basically. This is just a way of pretty much just you guys walking through on your screen, the same thing I'm walking through on my screen. Overall, you know, it's a pretty good learning experience that way, so we're, we're both achieving the same uh, final result at the end, which is me on screen zooming into my eye, and then it's this music video. But the only thing I haven't left in this in the description for you to download is, is the music video. So by all means, just put like a previous project or it could be anything underneath there really and you can swap it out as you see. But boom, in the description you can download this video of me. So it's just my face. It won't have any editing on or anything like that. And you can also download the cinematic based, uh, cinematic base, um, boom, and the sudden impact 2 sound effect down below just to kind of give this cinematic, um, you know, extra kind of a uh, dimension to it. But anyways, we're gonna actually get cracking with that um, pretty much now. So what we wanna do to actually start this is I can actually create, I could actually go about creating a new project so we could just be working through, or what I could actually do is just actually duplicate this stuff. But actually screw it, I may as well create a new project. So let's go ahead and download this clip down below in the description or get your clip that you're gonna be working through yourself. And just go ahead and either drag that over here to create a new timeline or drag that down here to create a new timeline. Both of them are going to create that new timeline. And go ahead and trim this clip down that I've left you guys to download uh, down below in the description. Trim it to I actually walk on screen. Or I may, I may even have it already trimmed for you down below in the description. I haven't even sorted out how I'm going to give that to you yet. But I, might, I may have it trimmed. If I don't, by all means, uh, trim it down to about there. So we've got a decent bit, just overall it's just me on screen looking at the camera, making eye contact, and then it's actually going to zoom in to the eyeball, and we're have to, gonna actually have to edit that so that we can create the illusion that there is another video underneath that. Um, and it's going to be a pretty straightforward effect. Go ahead and create this, chop it down, drag your uh, MAH1988.mp4 to the second layer because we're obviously going to be needing to do some alterations uh, to this so we can kind of make that eye, eyeball kind of see through so we can zoom in on there and then have oh my bad someone's texting me um, and then have an actual music video below this or whatever you guys are going to choose to put below this so boom Once we have actually chopped this down, let's go over to the opacity. And you see we have these three guys right here. Let's just go ahead and create an ellipse mask. Now, 
That's gonna look pretty crazy right now. It's gonna be sectioning off a corner of my face. I just want you guys to kind of pull this down to a pretty small size. We're gonna be zooming in in a second. So it kind of covers that eyeball. And then just come over here and click inverted so that instead of just highlighting that bit, it's gonna uh, exclude that bit and highlight everything else. So you see it's just a black kind of circle there, which actually is just see-through. It's transparent there. Then we're gonna wanna zoom in, go ahead and just scroll all the way up to this right here. And we're actually gonna wanna adjust this mask, okay? So let's click the mask. Go down here and actually adjust it so that it's not coming out of the eyeball, right? So it's not creating uh, the, the, the the kind of unauthentic look. And we want to just adjust it so that it's just fitting into this eyeball slightly. It doesn't even have to fully doesn't even have to fully cover the eyeball. It just has to go there so that it's not looking out of place. So when I, when I click off, you might not even realize that that's not the pupil. Okay, so it literally looks pretty similar to the pupil, other than the fact it doesn't have the shine right there. Um, and obviously, just to show you guys how this is working, I could actually create um, a color mat and just make this uh, red. Um, this is just for demonstration purposes and put that underneath. So you can see whatever's underneath this layer, because that circle was now see-through, is going to start showing. Okay, so boom. Now that we've actually created that, we can just go ahead and zoom out. And what we can actually do is go along into this video a little bit until we actually would want to uh, bring that in. Okay, or in fact, we could just start it here and uh, then just drag it back out. But boom, leave it here. Go ahead and click on the mask. And actually, let's just go ahead and first off with the feather, um, just go ahead and bring that feather up a little bit, maybe just to about 20, just to double the feather a little bit, just so we've got a nice amount of feather right there. And then let's actually just go ahead and click this or actually click the toggle animation on the mask path and just go ahead and press play for a second. So that's just going to actually figure out for us um, the movement of that particular mask. Now, luckily for us, the shot that we have of me moving, I'm not moving a lot by, by, by any means, you know what I mean? I'm just kind of stood on the screen, actually trying to stay as still as I could with my arms crossed so I could get this clip looking really nice. But basically what we're gonna do here is just by playing that, um, this track mask actually just figures out the motion of that mask. So to some extent throughout these keyframes that we've created down here, which should be enough seeing as it's a very quick effect, maybe a 10 frame maximum effect. Um, so overall, we've now got this particular um, mask right here. And if we press play, it follows uh, around and is tracked to that eye. Okay. So basically when we zoom in, everything's going to be looking dope. Everything's going to be in the right place. Now what we want to actually do is just go ahead and pull this back out a little bit and just drag that along just so it doesn't start right away. Because you see um, on our other one, which I deleted or whatever, or I could bring it back up over here. We don't, we don't want it to start right away. We want a little bit of a breather before it shoots into that eye. So let's actually just go ahead and bring it back out a little bit like we just have. And let's see where the first frame starts. So it starts right here. That might not be enough breather. So we might want to just bring it out again a little bit more. Boom. So now we've got a little bit of breather here, and then it is the tracked eye right there. So now what we want to actually do is just go ahead and actually start working on bringing our music video in. So bring whatever it is going to be underneath, underneath your eye and whatever's going to be in that eye, and uh, just go ahead and bring that in. Now I'm just going to chop this down until it starts here. So this is a music video I worked on for a client um, a few weeks ago, a month ago. I, I forget. It, it was a little while ago, basically. And essentially what we're gonna do is, um, that snow actually right there could be, or this scene right here is where I'm gonna start it on, I think actually, because this is just pretty dope. If I give this a play, it just fades into that. I think that's looking pretty cool. So overall, boom, let's bring this over here now to here. And what we wanna actually do is bring this in, boom. And you see instantly when we put that under there, it is appearing in the eye. Now, what we wanna actually do is go to where this effect would have completed, okay? Seeing as this right here, um, if we turn this off, that's just a full screen music video, right? So where would we want this eye effect to complete? If it started here, let's uh, actually just press to the right hand side, so the right hand key right here, we could do 10, um, 10 times, so it's gonna be a 10 frame effect, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So easily that's covered by the mask path um, yeah, by the mask path that we've already done. We want to come down here to the TRA uh, music video or whatever you're putting underneath and just go ahead and press a toggle animation on scale and a toggle animation on position. Meaning that at this point, when it's completed, it will be full. Um, and in fact, we may even want to turn off 
this and just go ahead and make that bad boy scale actually like 110 or maybe even a little bit more just play with it until i can actually get the black bars gone you might not have black bars in your video so if not by all means avoid this so then we actually skip back those frames right so we have these keyframes here 10 10, uh, 10 frames in we can go back to the beginning of this and actually turn this back on so it's back at the beginning of this zoom in here and now what we can actually do okay is uh first off i want to actually just go ahead and um maybe maybe turn that off for a second or actually i could turn that back on and at the beginning of this i actually want to be bringing the underneath visual down right so i want to make that probably about five something like that um or actually if i undo that it, it may help just to manually do it like this instead of tweaking the stuff here but go ahead and zoom in and i'm actually just going to go ahead and start oh i may not want to do that and just start lining this up right so that we can fit it down to the eyeball and we may have to just start tweaking stuff a little bit here just messing with it and i'm gonna pop that in the eyeball boom so now we know that at the beginning of this it is in the eyeball and then 10 frames in it's gonna be um max um max size right so pay attention to the blue the blue outline it zooms down to that eyeball and then zooms out to be full size very very cool overall definitely looking awesome so one part of the effect is essentially complete and now if you're following through pretty well you might have figured this out already we now want to toggle animation on the scale toggle an animation on the position of our actual um eyeball effect uh, eyeball image or our facial image of me and then again just go in 10 frames so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then we're in 10 frames then i want you to turn the scale to three thousand that sounds like a lot i know turn it to three thousand click on the position and uh god damn it phone shut up just start working our way up i think that's my nose right there <laughs> this is really zoomed in and just go ahead and work this eyeball up till it is pretty much covering the entire screen just like that and you know it's now pretty much entirely visible what's underneath this um mask right here and now if we actually give this a play we could give this a play and we do have that on screen right now currently which is uh because we haven't actually used the expansion to get rid of that in these beginning frames but we'll do that in a second and overall uh, minus that it is a pretty dope effect so far um it looks pretty weird there because we have not messed with the expansion but overall now what we want to do before this actually kicks in is just go ahead and zoom in here and just go ahead and put a expansion on zero at here so the first frame we want to see this the expansion is going to be zero now that actually means it's visible so now if we then skip back a frame so where the video is not where you know this would just be a black circle on my face moving about we want to just go ahead and turn that all the way down all the way down so you see if we turn it all the way up it's going to be on there i want to turn that expansion all the way down so it's not even visible it should just be about minus 76 minus 50 something like that and now you see if we go to the beginning here and we play that that little black dot is not on screen anymore it is just me looking at the camera opening my eyes and then it zooms straight in on that eye and by all means we're going to be getting rid of the eyeball now so now we go up here and now we work to the end of this uh, of these frames right here we go to the end and just before just before it ends we could go a frame before it completes right um what we actually want to do is again just go ahead and click a uh, keyframe on that particular expansion and then just go maybe one two three three in and just go ahead and bring that all the way back down so that nothing is visible or all the way back up rather if we bring it down it's not visible we want to now bring it the opposite way up so that it takes it entirely off the screen so we now did it to 60 instead of like minus 70 or whatever it was before and now we can skip back to the beginning give us a play and this will zoom into my eye the only thing that's a little bit messed up is you can see those black bars coming through you see up there so what i actually might do is just go ahead and bring this in and just go ahead and drag that in a little bit right so that uh the the scale of uh the image underneath is going to be going a little bit faster so that we never see those black bars and just like that we have created the zoom in eye effect however there's something you can do obviously to make it go so much smoother okay okay that's looking dope however i'm pretty sure actually i'm probably gonna need to um to get that up a little bit let's get that up a little bit boom okay cool i'm just tweaking some stuff by all means you guys could put a lot more time into tweaking it than i can um and make yours even better but boom just like that we have created the effect and now i want you guys to download the cinematic base boost and the sudden impact 2 for the sudden impact 2 
just keep ticking along until you see a certain point um, where it's pretty much all the way into the eye. So probably about here. Yeah, probably about here. And just go ahead and bring this along. So the kind of peak of the of the volume. So about here has kind of hit when it's nearly into the eye. And then just bring this cinematic bass boom. Pop that about the same place. Yeah, probably about here. Now if we actually go ahead and just give this a uh, give this a, a, a render into out for a few frames, we have achieved the zoom in eye effect, and it's looking very dope. If you guys downloaded the uh, clip of me and the sound effects, you've got the same thing I've got. This. <laughs> There we go, and it's a pretty cool visual underneath. Um, by all means, I hope you guys had a pretty cool visual to put underneath as well. Boom, just like that, a simple zoom in eye effect done in probably about 10 minutes, something like that, 10, 10, 15 minutes. I'm not too sure how long we've been doing this tutorial, but overall, that is the video right there. Gonna play it one more time. Boom, the zoom in eye effect overall looking very very dope so thank you guys for watching the video if you enjoyed please like comment subscribe my name is Jack Aris Jack Cole I upload weekly video production content tackling new tutorials in Premiere Pro sometimes some After Effects stuff tips and tricks on how to build clientele and build up a freelance um, well I just said it clientele and just pretty much given all the tips tricks and information I have as being a freelance video editor videographer and full-time youtuber or you know, video production YouTuber and trying to put all these tips and tricks out onto the internet for likewise people um, similar to myself. Without further ado, thanks for watching the video guys. Have a nice day and goodbye.